There are two main types of muscle fibers, fast and slow twitch. In this video, I will explain both of them and also talk about how they affect strength and fitness training. So in general, skeletal muscle is comprised of separate muscle fibers called myocytes. Every myocyte is comprised of myofibrils, which are proteins that hold on to each other and pull. That way they can contract and create movement. Muscle fibers can be categorized in two main types. Slow twitch type 1 muscle fibers and fast twitch type 2 muscle fibers. Type 2 fibers can then further be broken down into type 2A and type 2B fibers. As you will see in a second, these distinctions are important because they influence how muscles act and respond to activities. On average, we have around 50% slow twitch and 50% fast twitch fibers in most of our skeletal muscles. But how exactly they differ from each other? So slow twitch muscle enables long distance exercise such as marathon running. They are better at using oxygen to synthesize ATP, which is the primary energy molecule in the body. Because they contract more slowly than fast twitch fibers, they can go for a long time before fatiguing. This of course is a huge bonus for endurance athletes and during most long distance running. Fast twitch muscle fibers, on the other hand, are better at generating short bursts of energy. This is necessary for sprinting or during high intensity strength training. Unfortunately, they also fatigue more quickly, which is why we cannot sprint for longer than a few seconds. Now, what about fast twitch muscle fibers A and B? Type 2A muscle fibers are also known as intermediate fast twitch fibers. They combined the feeds of type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers in or something like a mixture between the two. Type 2B muscle fibers are the true fast twitch fibers that have the highest rate of contraction and fire the fastest. Obviously, this also leads to faster fatigue and less ability for endurance exercise. Now, how does all this theory apply to fitness? Basically, your muscle type influences what sports you are naturally going to excel and whether you are more of a strength or an endurance athlete. Why these differences probably won't mean much for the average trainee when it comes to world-class athletes, it certainly does. Olympic sprinters usually have a far greater percentage of fast twitch fibers than the average person and Olympic marathon runners have a far greater percentage of slow twitch fibers. But the question is, should you, as the average trainee, be guided by muscle type? For beginners, the answer is probably no. Not only is it difficult to determine your individual muscle tissue markup without consulting a lab, but like I said, before most people have an even 50-50 split of fast and slow twitch fibers. If you focus on these small differences in muscle tissue, you will probably lose focus of the overall picture. That means having a good beginner workout is a lot more important than having a workout tailored to your individual muscle type. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.